Nobody. I'm absolutely nobody. I'm, I'm just a simple guy. As you heard, a self-described simple guy who pulled off a shocker in South Jersey, how a truck driver just unseated one of the most powerful men in the state. This is Eyewitness News at 6, and we are streaming live on CBSN Philly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Cartalia. And I'm Yuki Washington. It's one of the most stunning political upsets New Jersey has ever seen. South Jersey truck driver Ed Durr is projected to defeat state Senate President Steve Sweeney in the 3rd District. He's winning by more than 2,000 votes. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed is in Swedesboro, Gloucester County with new reaction from the winner. Alicia. Good evening, Yuki. Steve Sweeney has been the state Senate president in New Jersey for over a decade, representing the third legislative district since 2002. But right now, the talk of the town is the man who could soon take his seat, Ed Durr. From West Deptford to Salem, voters have cast ballots for truck driver Edward Durr to take the state Senate seat. I think that's a really strong message that somebody like him can, you know, get voted in um, without the backing of the big money. The 53 year old says he believes in less government, lower taxes, and wants to see control of the government back in the hands of the people. We asked the first thing he plans to change once he gets to Trenton. Me personally, I'm just going to take it all in. I'm going to try and continue to learn and absorb, but I am definitely going to be a voice for the people. Early reports of Durr's projected upset said the candidate spent only $153 in the race. Durr laughed at that claim, saying it was prior to the primaries, but was an example of inefficient government. Stop with the 153. Please stop. The 153 was spent prior to the primary. There's filing dates. It's, it's just another prime example of the failures of New Jersey government. You guys went on the New Jersey elect, obviously, and you find $153 filed. Well, that was back in May, June. That shows how behind New Jersey government is on keeping things updated. In a statement, Sweeney says the results from Tuesday's election continue to come in. For instance, there were 12,000 ballots recently found in one county. And while I'm certainly trailing, currently trailing in the race, we want to make sure every vote is counted. Our voters deserve that, and we will wait for the final results. Now, right now, the win is only a projection. The election will be certified in mid November. Reporting live from Swedesboro, New Jersey, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you.